Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review. Today we got for you G1 Mini Optimus Prime version 2. I know you guys have been waiting for this, so let's check it out. So hopefully you guys have already seen my version 2 Ultra Magnus. I had to wait to get a couple of pieces to make sure I could get Optimus done. And here he is in all of his G1 glory. Yes, way better improved design since version 1. Um, actually, even better than version 2. This is kind of like version 2.5. I um, beefed it up a little bit with the arms right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but we do got the Autobot symbol right there. I need to probably get some stickers with like the white outline instead of the clear. It worked out really well with uh, Ultra Magnus, but never considered this is just clear red on red. <laughs> so, um, yeah, much boxier design than version 1. Um, wider windows. We still have the, the stud port up here to make it compatible with Ultra Magnus' trailer. Um, you know, less gaps on the side now. The only gap we really have is that right there, but it's way better than version one. Um, beefier legs. We got a, you know, it does roll really well, but uh, we got the wheel well, you know, looking a lot better this time. We got the lights and everything in the back. Um, this is the only gap you see for the head, and you still can't even see the head as it's tucked in there. You have to like really get in there to find it. But um, the smokestacks are a lot sturdier. You know they don't you know just fall off like they used to. And um, we got the little steps right here. Before we just had like a little step to kind of step up into it. It would be awesome if I could get like a window right there, but you know they don't make that piece. So maybe I'll find like a sticker or something to put on there. But we got the steps for the driver. Um, it's too small for any Lego guy to fit in, so, well, you know, just if we have something small enough for it, then it'll be awesome right there. Um, we also have clear headlights, which to me look completely awesome in this, this form right here. Before, they were like, I don't even know, did we have headlights on the last one? Where's my nemesis problem? There were no headlights on this guy at all. All right, so now we got headlights. <laughs> so, um, let's get into transformation. So the first thing you're gonna do right here is probably zoom out so that you guys can see what's going on. There we go. First thing we're gonna do is fold down the front wheels, like so. And we're gonna lift this whole cab section up. Why do I feel like it's coming apart right now? It was trying to, that's what happened. So we lift the whole cab section up like that, and then we're gonna just flip it around. We got this little uh, post right here, with it was like a beam with three posts, with the balls with the missiles. Love that piece. Let's flip it around like that. We're gonna fold in the leg panels. Now what I did this time, because um these little uh, one by two tiles were kind of um were kind of shaky on Ultra Magnus. So in order to make it a little more sturdier, I just slide them out to the middle now. That way it's more supported by the stud by the stud in the middle. Versus it only being supported on one side and it makes it easier to fall in. And um it's a little different look. We can separate the legs right now if we want. Um, next thing we're gonna do, let's see, keep these wheels folded down, and then we wanna start working on the arms. So, swing the arms out like that, and then fold that out. Now what we wanna do is fold down the arm panels. Actually, we can keep it like that for now. And then just take it on the mixel and flip it around. Now the same arm transformation that you see on my minis, these actually inspired the arm transformation on the micro. So you should see that video pretty soon, if not already. Whoa. And um, 
yeah, I really like the, the arm transformation from that. So I decided to transfer it over to the to the micros. That way, you know, you could have the headlight and you could have the posable wrist and everything. And it kind of, you know, bulks up the arm from the side view also. So then we do the same on the other. Kind of work out the arm. Swing it out. It definitely does seem a lot easier on the mini than it did on the micro. I don't know why that is, but maybe working on a bigger scale, it does seem a lot easier. And then we finish the second arm just like that. Now for the head. Just want to flip that up over and just like on Ultra Magnus, make sure you guys can see this, just like on Ultra Magnus we're also utilizing the, the trailer port for the headpiece right here, so we just attach the neck to that dot right there. Now on this I have a brand new um, head sculpt that you know, I figured it'll make it look a little wider. I've been doing some research on, um, you know, different Optimus Primes, and I saw this on, I don't know if it was Flickr or Pinterest, but uh, this person by the name of Christy, I don't really know, you know, I don't know who they are, but um, they, they have extensive Lego work, but um, they had a, a head sculpt similar to this, where they had the, the one by two, plate with the stud in the middle for the front facing for, for the face and then they put the little one by one plate on front of that the, the flat plate on front of it so I thought that was pretty cool but they had the headpiece right here way further back and it was just a stud so I enhanced that by putting the one by two plate and then using the cheese wedge and the flat in the back to give it a little more uh, definition and it came out awesome so let's get the feet folded out pose this guy any way you want I like the fact that you know the convoys now have feet that I can you know pose and stuff because we could get a lot more cooler poses from it all we gotta do next is pick up these wheels fold them up in the back and there we have Optimus Prime Version 2, so much better than version 1. I mean, if this is just version 2, I can't wait to see what like version 3 or 4 looks like, you know? So you can get way cooler poses out of him now. Um, fully articulated, even more so than version 1, where we have posable wrist, wrist swivel, um, bends at the elbow all over the place because they're on mixels. Um, he has a double shoulder joint. You see that right there, and he has some swivel right there. Um, the head does do a full 360. He could technically look up, but then you'd have to like disconnect the neck joint, and you know, it's not a big deal. Um, as you see, he has waist swivel, um, bends at the knee, pretty much 90 degrees at the knee which is awesome, um, full ankle pivot, you know, you can put him in like a running pose, it only really goes back that far, so you can't really get like a, too much of a running pose to where like his feet will be pointed more down this way, but um, you got full tilt, so that way no matter where he's standing or how he's standing, you could always, you know, sit there and get a, you know, make sure that he's, you know, firmly planted in the ground right there, as you can see like that. So I would, I would want to get a trailer for this guy, but um, I don't know, I might start designing that. The legs connect by a, what is this, like a, a, a tilting plate right there, and then we have the little connector ports right there. Like I said, the legs are a lot thicker now. And it just gives them an overall better look. Um, like I said, I beefed up the arms a little bit. 
we still have that problem where you know ultra madness had fell backwards and these things popped off it's still kind of like that but it looks a lot better if it ever does that <laughs> so let's get them in the middle let's get a final spin on this guy I can't wait to build a megatron uh, it's so difficult trying to design a megatron I've tried mini scale, I've tried mini, uh, micro, I, I don't know how to get this guy down. So, I mean, if you guys have any ideas, definitely hit me up. So, how'd you guys like uh, G1 version 2 Optimus Prime? Yes. Um, you guys have seen a ton of uh, um, size comparisons already. But, um, you know, he is kind of kneeling down and he's still, you know, pretty much taller than my version 1 Nemesis Prime. And he's like, like really like crotching down, you know? Um, we only have a Nemesis Prime transformed in micro because the other two uh, Ultra Magnus and Optimus Prime are in truck mode right now, but you can see how he scales with the micro and how he scales with me, BX Bricks, yeah. So um, I wanna thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned for more videos. You know, we got uh, some the same, what is it, uh, version 2 upgrades coming to Nemesis Prime soon. Um, we got the reviews for the micro Nemesis Prime and Ultra Magnus coming up pretty soon. And um, I'm going to actually start building my little uh, my mini Gundam today. So yeah, uh, just going to get into that. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching, subscribing, like, comment, let me know what's going on with you, if you want me to build anything specifically for you, I do do requests, um, you know, you can hire me to build something special for you, I can ship it to you, I can give you the instructions, anything you want, bxbricks1 at gmail.com. Alright guys, see you next time, peace.